So longtime Minnesota Wild captain Miko Koivu retires after 16 seasons. This year, he was signed with the Columbus Blue Jackets after 15 seasons with the Minnesota Wild. The Minnesota Wild decided not to resign Koivu, and he signed a one-year, $1.5 million deal with the Columbus Blue Jackets. He only played seven games for the Columbus Blue Jackets, and in those seven games, he only tallied up a goal and an assist. But there is a statement right here from Koivu, and it says, and I quote, this was not an easy, easy decision for me as I have loved every minute of my short time with Columbus and really hope to be able to help this team accomplish its goals this season. But the bottom line is I haven't been able to get to the level of play that I need to be true to myself and fair to my teammates. So the time is right for me to retire from hockey. Um, he is 37 years old. He is a native from Turku, Finland. Um, and one reason why he decided to sign with the Columbus Blue Jackets is because of their general manager, Jarmo. Kekalainen, I I probably said that wrong, but I'm going to say it like that, uh, Jarmo Kekalainen, uh, this is the first ever Finnish general manager, so that was definitely like kind of a pull towards why Koivu signed with them, and in his statement right here, he said, and I quote the general manager, Miko Koivu is a, is a consummate pro, and while we are disappointed that his time as a Blue Jacket was short. We understand and respect the decision he has made because this is the result of the deep respect he has for the game, our organization, and teammates. I've known Miku for a very long time and proud of everything he has accomplished and how he has represented our club, the Minnesota Wild, and Team Finland over the past two decades. I wish him many happy years as he transitions into the next chapter of his life. Um. So this is my team. So this is my team because I am a Blue Jackets fan. I'll go first. First of all, I want to thank Miko for the seven games that he has played and the one goal and one assist that he had. Um, obviously, he will be always remembered as a Minnesota Wild. Um, I don't believe he ever made any like any like All Star games or nothing. I'll check that right now, but I highly doubt it. But as a Minnesota, but you can definitely tell he was a Minnesota Wild legend. You know what I'm saying? Playing there for 15 straight seasons. It really is something. It is really something to like to look at, and I mean, it's unfortunate. And personally, even though he was a Columbus Blue Jacket, I personally would have liked to see him play all sixteen seasons with the Wild. But you know, certain stuff happens for a certain reason. And again, like he said, he didn't want to disrespect the game because he hasn't been playing at the highest level. And so, I mean, with that being said, I gotta completely respect his decision. I thank him for everything he uh, for the things he has done for the Columbus Blue Jackets. I hope that he can help us in the future and accomplishing the goals that we need to accomplish, which I hope is a Stanley cup. And I just wish him a very successful and a very enjoyable retirement. Yeah. As do I, you know, uh, congratulations to Miko uh, Koivu. I said that right. Or did I? Yeah. Yeah. On a, on a successful NHL career. Uh, he's the, I just wanted to point this out to you. I don't think you mentioned this, but he's the wild all time. He's the wild all time leader in games play with a thousand twenty eight assistant assists with 504 and points and points and ranked second in goals with 205. So he has 504 assists and points, which, which is all time for the wild. So, I mean, he's obviously definitely a Minnesota wild legend. I would have loved to see him voice the Stanley cup. The Minnesota, unfortunately the Minnesota wild, like aren't, aren't really didn't have much success ever since their inception. Originally they were of uh, the Minnesota North stars and, and they became the Dallas Stars, and then the Minnesota Wild became a thing. And ever since then, they just haven't really been a successful franchise. And I really wish this dude actually had the chance to hoist Stan uh, Ward Stanley, as I like to call him. Um, as for Hall of Fame, I mean, you could make a case for him being in the Hall of Fame. I mean, if he has, if he if he has that many assistant points and that many games played and ranked second in goals for one for one team, you could make a case for him to be in the Hall. Of that team alone, that's the thing, though. Like, Minnesota Wild Hall of Fame, I think he'll make it. NHL Hall of Fame, I can't see it happen. I don't think he's ever made it. I don't know if he's ever made an All-Star game. I highly doubt he has. Uh, yeah, let me, look, let me look it up. Let me look it up. I mean, you could, you, you could make a case. Team team Hall of Fame, absolutely. Right. As for, um, as for um, what's it called, uh, uh, National Hockey Hall of Fame, whatever they call it, I mean, one could make a case for it. You could. I'm not. I'm not sure if I would pick it, but you could. Right, and I'm. I'm not here to trap. But anyway, I'm not here to trash Miko Koi. He had a good. He had a great 15 seasons with the Minnesota Wild, and he was a over. He was a former uh, first uh, first round sixth overall pick in the NHL draft, and I think that. And I think they really got his full value out of him after playing for 15 seasons with the Minnesota Wild. 
I think they got their full value out of Miko Koivu because it's very rare you find a guy that plays that long for your team. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, again, like I said, he was 37 years old. He wasn't playing at the level that he was accustomed to playing at. And he felt like it was the need for him to retire. But personally, I wish he would have stayed with the Minnesota Wild. And I am a Columbus Blue Jackets fan. I respect everything that he's done. And it's nothing, and it's nothing personal. It's, but I like to see players play for the team that they played for, for, for their whole, their whole career. You know what I'm saying? Because it's very rare to see in sports a player play for a long time and play for the same team for their whole career. You know, Kobe Bryant did it. Bill Russell did it. Um, Magic Johnson did it. Like there's very, but there's very few athletes that have done it. You know what I'm saying? And for, and, and I just felt like, you know, Columbus, his Columbus year wasn't memorable. He's, he done, um, he done, he helped us. He's helped us with the success that we had a little bit, but I mean, you know, as for his career alone, I wish he would have finished his career with the Minnesota Wild. But I don't think he's ever made it to an all-star game, Nate. Did you figure that out? Uh he he did make it to an all-star game actually back in 2012. But I'm trying to see if he made other all-star games. All right. You know so he, I'll leave I'll leave it to the hockey fans down in the comments below to figure yeah, it out. Right. So right now we know that he's a one-time all-star, which I don't think it's enough to make the actual Hall of Fame. That's the thing. Like Minnesota Wild Hall of Fame, I can definitely see it. But there are people who are who have made all-star who have made more, more than one all-star game they made multiple all-star games and they haven't made it to the hall of fame you know what i'm saying he doesn't have a ring to it so i don't know if he's a hall of famer of the nhl but i do know one thing i do know that minnesota wild are should absolutely be grateful for this man considering how long he has spent with them and if you really want to think about it he could be considered like a minnesota sports legend he mm-hmm. really could be with um help me out here i'm trying like with randy um randy moss you look um, at, uh, I'm trying to think of the one that played for the um, Twins. That's exactly the guy I'm thinking of. I'm trying yeah. to think of, too. I can't think of his name. Got you. Um, well, well think of other legends while I look this up. Yeah. So, yeah, you got Randy Moss when it comes to, like, you got Randy Moss when it comes to the Vikings. When it comes to the Timberwolves, you can mention Kevin Garnett and that kind of central sentence right there, too, because he had some good years with the Timberwolves. Um. Yeah, most of the Minnesota legends, they're all part of um they're part of the Minnesota Vikings. And I don't know why. I can't think of his name. I got you. Kirby Puckett. That's his name. Kirby, Kirby Puckett. Puckett. There's one more though. There's one more Kirby, though. I'm trying to think. Kirby Puckett, I mean, I, Joe Mauer. Joe Mauer, thank you. Rod yeah. Rod Carew is another legend in Minnesota as well. Right. That's what I was thinking of. Joe Mauer right there. Because Joe Mauer is beloved in Minnesota. You know what I'm saying? Miko Koivu, after spending 15 seasons with the Minnesota Wild, and hockey fans that are in Minnesota definitely appreciate him. And I honestly think Minnesota is like one of the best places for hockey. You know what I'm saying? It's always cold. It's always, like in the winter, it turns into an ice rink anyway. So, I mean, I mean, I think Minnesota is one of the best places for hockey. And I think that Koivu's attributions to Minnesota, to the Minnesota Wild should not be ignored by Minnesota Wild fans. And it's probably not. Minnesota Wild fans know how important he has been to this team. He's been a captain for them for a very long time. And honest, and honestly, that's why that's the number one reason why I felt like he should have finished his career in Minnesota. Or when he found out that Minnesota wasn't going to re-sign him, he should have just retired right then and there. But it's his decision, not ours. I completely respect his decision and him retiring right now because he doesn't want to hurt the game. He doesn't want to he doesn't want to continue playing to the point where he's not playing at his full ability anymore. So with that being said, I wish Miko Koivu the best of luck in retirement. And I wish the Minnesota Wild and the Columbus Blue Jackets the best of luck, especially moving forward.